Hey guys, what's up? Ling Ling is back with another video. If you're wondering about the background here, well, it's just because I learned that in our dorm we apparently have a forgotten restaurant or something. It's really crazy. I'm just gonna show you guys. So basically it's just one big room here. Super cool actually. But yeah, it's like a big circle room, oval room here in our dorm. Anyways, I love this as a location because then I don't have to go outside for a cool background. And uh, yeah, it's not as cold in here as it is outside. So I really love that. Yep, so let's get started on today's video. Today's video is about the five things that I do when I'm dating a Chinese guy. Um, you're probably wondering why I came up with this just right now, but it's because the last few months I've been seeing a guy and then it didn't work out and then I've seen another one and that didn't work out either. <laughs> um, so yeah, during that time I've just been like, I don't know, thinking a little bit more about this uh, uh, intercultural relationship kind of thing and dating in general and I realized that there are some things that I do differently uh, when I'm with a Chinese guy compared to if I date a foreigner or like a Westerner uh, when I say for like you know Danish person or American or English you know what I mean um, Anyways, let's get started. The first thing I do, the first thing I do when I'm dating a Chinese guy is that I automatically cut out sarcasm when I'm talking. Um, it's usually because I date in Chinese when I uh, date Chinese guys. <laughs> Surprise. Um, so yeah, I have a tendency to cut it out even though I don't always want to. And I also sometimes do try to um, make a sarcastic joke and it does work as well, but it's also also because the language is so difficult and it's it's usually hard to understand when you try to translate jokes so it's better for me to just learn to be funny <laughs> learn to be funny learn to be funny in Chinese instead of going from being funny in Danish and then try to translate it into English or Chinese or from English to Chinese you know what I mean yeah so I have a tendency to cut that out when I'm dating a Chinese guy. The second thing I do is that I do eat more Chinese food when I'm with a Chinese guy. Um, it's probably because we are in China, so they want to eat Chinese food and then I'm just like, oh, that's fine for me too. Uh, you know that I'm quite picky about food and I usually have my oatmeal every single morning and evening. Um, but if I'm with a Chinese guy and he wants to eat something else for breakfast, then I'll be like, oh, okay, well, you know, once in a while it's fine. So I do eat more Chinese food. And furthermore, when we go out for eating, uh, it's very common that the guys are paying for our uh, food and um, so I usually let them do that because I know it's a cultural thing. I always try but it, it never works out. I even once doing these a uh, few months I've been trying to like sneak money into the guy's pocket when he didn't see it but <laughs> then he would like grab his wallet and look at his money and be like hmm why is there a hundred RMB notes um, in this part of the wallet where it's usually in the other part of the wallet uh, he was a little confused and then he threw it back at me so that didn't work out uh, I also sometimes try to send money on WeChat to them but it usually never works out. So that's what I do. I try to accept that they're gonna pay for it and it's also, it's wonderful to do that. But then, yeah, I try not to go and eat too expensive, too, too expensive, expensive places because then I just feel bad about it, you know. So that's the second thing. The third thing I do is a little more personal. I hope it's okay. I hope it's not too much information. Um, but I do not pay as much attention to shaving as I would do if I dated a uh, Western guy. Um, because it seems like shaving is just not really a thing here in China. And uh, yeah, I kind of just like got used to it and thought, okay, why not just go with the flow? Uh, not saying that I'm growing bushes, but just like, 
But before, if I went to see a Western guy, I'd be like, oh, I need to shave, I need to do this, this and that, you know. But now I'm just like, oh, if I don't do it, then nobody cares. The fourth thing I do when dating a Chinese guy uh, is that I just expect them to pick me up. Um, if we meet in town, I can definitely take the subway, it's not a problem. But if I know the guy has a car, I'm just like, of course he has to pick me up. It's a really bad princess habit I gained here in China and I don't like myself for it and sometimes I do tell myself I should stop thinking these things because it's not cool because I'm independent. Of course I can take the subway on my own. Um, but yeah, like one story is that one guy I was seeing, I was like, yeah, so I'm gonna arrive at midnight in the airport and he was like, oh, then you should take a taxi home and take care of yourself. And I was just like, dude, why are you not even asking me if you should come and pick me up and at home I would never expect any guy to do that for me but here it's just very common and I remembered before I said to a guy that he shouldn't come and pick me up and he still did come in the middle of the night and he was you know oh it was just so nice uh, so now I tell myself I shouldn't expect that but it's a bad habit I do still have a tendency to expect um, them to pick me up and the last thing the fifth thing I do um, when I am dating a Chinese guy is that I'm less jealous I am not a crazy drama queen jealous kind of person but I am just like on average probably more jealous than the Danish girls uh, well of course you can't generalize they're jealous and not jealous people but like <clears throat> Most of my friends are like, of course you can hang with other girls and snap other girls and take pictures with other girls and Facebook and no, no, no. Social media is making me jealous. I'm like, I don't mind if he goes partying. I don't mind whatever he's doing. I just don't want to see the pictures. If that makes sense, I don't know. Um, but the thing is, when I'm dating a Chinese guy, we are only friends on WeChat. And if he puts out a picture, uh, he... Um, I cannot see the comments from people who I'm not friends with so if some girl is like commenting oh ha, ha, that was such a fun night or we did this and this and that and he's like eh, I know um, I can't see that so it's not mm, it's really difficult for me to talk about because I don't I don't like that I make stories in my head but I'm a storyteller you know that and so yeah, social media is giving me things to think about and I don't want to think about them. So the good thing about dating Chinese guys uh, is that when they're texting other people on WeChat as an example, a lot of people they have like a funny nickname uh, that has nothing to do with their own name. And even if they had their own name, I am not always sure if it's a boy or a girl anyways. And they never almost not never but a lot of people don't use their own picture as a profile picture so I literally have no idea if it's a girl or boy he's talking to and if he's not doing anything dumb or just talking because they're friends then I actually don't care either so because I don't know I don't care and then I don't make drama so that's a really good thing about staying here in China uh, yeah so that was uh, the video for today the five things I do when I am dating Chinese guys and uh, yeah please let me please let me know below what you're doing differently when you're dating either Western people or uh, Eastern people or whoever you're dating like do you see any main difference when you're dating people from another culture uh, than your own uh, yeah let's talk about it and I hope you like this video please give me a little thumbs up subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling below and I'll see you very very soon again have a nice day evening wherever you are and Ling Ling is out see you and bye bye